In last week's photo, I talked about how I went out with my niece and spent about 30 minutes kind of taking pictures, exploring photography a little bit. And this was taken at the end of that little excursion, although it was just maybe a, a couple blocks away from my house. As we were, as the sun was going down, we left the spot where we shot last week's photo and we were kind of driving down the road and she spotted this particular tulip just by itself in the middle of a boulevard. And she said, what about that one? So we, I parked the car and we ran over and she's taking pictures of it. And I showed her how to shoot with a wide aperture as cars were coming down the road. And you, she could make the car headlights become these giant blurry balls, which you see on the left-hand side here. I shot this photo, but she shot several just like it. And I think from an artistic standpoint, this one's a little more pleasing than last week's. I like how this, this tulip is isolated by itself. There's not a lot of other distractions going on, but yet you still have those balls on the left-hand side, those giant spots of transparent light. And in the top left corner, you even see a bit of the sun going down over the trees. Last week's photo was called 30 minutes. Here, this was more like 30 seconds because right after we shot these photos, the sun was on, down the horizon and, and there really was nothing left, uh, not much light left to photograph. And it, right at that particular time of day is a really fun time to go out and shoot because the, the sun is low on the horizon, but everything's still lit and you get these really cool effects, I guess you'd say, where everything is bathed in this nice glow of light and it's not harsh and it has this warm tone to it. So it was really fun to go out and shoot like that. And I think I need to do that more often, bring my camera out either in the early morning or in the evening when the sun is setting and just see how the world looks at that time when it's just, the color is just a little different in a really cool way. I also, I think I shot this wide open. I'm not entirely sure, but it was either wide open or really close to it. And I don't normally do that, especially on the 85 which is what I, that's the lens I used to shoot this. But yeah, I don't know. It seemed like the situation called for it, for something really wide open. It, it was, it's fun to go out and, and try that. Even though you get a little loss in sharpness and stuff like that, I think the photo, the end result is is well worth it. So it was a, it was a fun little experience to have and a good reminder to me of why it's important to do these types of things.